And especially at times like this in the world that's, you know, in many places there's, there's, it's kind of tumultuous right now, right? And with, with a tumultuous environment, there also becomes powerful emotions that start to operate in people, you know, and their emotional, their emotional life, their emotional environment can just get more and more and more sort of triggered. So I think it's really important that we all look inside for a moment and we all really take a moment to reflect. Am I being the change that I want to see? And how do I go about the natural concern for my fellow human beings, it could in, which could include all beings, it could include the, the, the environment, the earth, what, you know, as big as you want to make that concern, that which you value, that which you love, that which you cherish. Because this is part of what we can forget about when the emotional environment within us and around us starts to get very powerful and triggered, it's easy to kind of lose yourself in it. And before you know it, every day you're waking up and you're upsetting yourself. I have found that if we are being the very thing we would like the world to become, that there's a sense of we already will feel at peace from the beginning because we won't be waiting for the world to get its act together. We will have looked and found that within ourselves. We will be able to find that love and that peace and that freedom within ourselves. And then we can start to See, when we move into, into our lives, into our daily lives, am I really being, being right now, the kind of change that I would like to see in the world? Whatever that change you may want to see is. And like I said in my experience, when we are being the thing that we would like to see around us, there's a sense of sufficiency. Then we're not anxious. We're not angry that others don't seem to be cooperating with us, don't, the world, that the world doesn't seem to be at some given point in time being the way we'd like it to be because we already have that resource here within us, then if we choose to, well, even if we choose sort of not to be overly involved in whatever cause we may have, whether we do or we don't, but we feel a kind of sufficiency inside. There's a, we're operating from the end, the end point that we would hope, the end point of peace, the end point of freedom the end point of love, where actually from the very beginning, we within ourselves have already found the end point. And then our life becomes an expression of the end point, of the completion, of the fulfillment. If we haven't started to find at least some of these deep values of peace and love and freedom within ourselves, then when we see those not being displayed in the world around us, we'll get very, very triggered and often we'll get very, very angry. And it seems to me that it's also universal for most sane individuals who would actually desire a world that has peace and love and various expressions of freedom. This is universal within us. 
So when I look around and I see, you know, like I said, a fair amount of certainly emotional turmoil that's going around in this country right now, and I understand it. There's a lot of things happening that upset a lot of people. And it's totally understandable why people get upset or afraid, concerned. And it's really easy to get lost in that emotional swirl. Especially because we'll tend to justify it. But I think part of taking responsibility for our own lives is, am I, even in my gestures to make the world a better place, am I actually being in an expression of, of the very qualities that I want to find in the world? Am I being them right now? Is that part of my expression?